it has been a month. A lot of out of this world news. First, the safe uncrewed return of Boeing Starliner. Then, the history making SpaceX Polaris Dawn first ever civilian spacewalk. And the latest event, a milestone in space tourism, a test flight of a giant balloon that will one day carry explorers to space. Chief Transportation Correspondent Pilot, self-proclaimed space geek, May K. Beeler, filling us <laughs> in on the latest going up. Okay, uh, so a balloon. That's what we're talking about yeah, now. Yeah, wow. it's not just a typical hot air balloon. You'll, you'll see. Okay. All right. So calling all aspiring space tourists, if you are interested in stratospheric sightseeing, you are one step closer to liftoff, thanks to Space Perspective. The world's first carbon neutral space flight experience company just completed a historic dress rehearsal of its uncrewed test vehicle spaceship, Neptune Excelsior. Now this marks a benchmark on the way to future crew test flights, eventually leading to paid tourism flights that will help make space travel more accessible to everyone. Now, according to the company, the full flight demonstration began with a launch from Marine Space Point Voyager off the coast of Florida. The pressurized Neptune capsule was lifted by the space balloon from the deck of the Voyager. Neptune rose to an altitude of about 100,000 feet above 99% of the Earth's atmosphere. Now, over the course of the six-hour journey, the spacecraft performed a controlled descent and a splashdown, completing a historic test flight. This is crazy and cool, like, and a little scary all at once. Is This is... It's like a hot air balloon on steroids. I mean, that's what it looks like anyway. It is, but it's not hot air. Okay. Okay. You guys know about hot air. It's not oh, hot air. True. It's hydrogen filled. <laughs> uh, it's as tall as the Eiffel Tower and can fit in a football stadium when fully inflated. Now, let's be transparent. It doesn't officially carry tourists into space because that's generally defined as 50 to 62 miles up but it'll take you to the edge of space. The pressurized capsule has 2,000 cubic feet of space, carries up to eight passengers and a captain. Check this out, it has a luxury lounge, plush seating, huge 360 degree windows, a spa-like restroom and a bar, fancy food, cocktails, Wi-Fi, and photos and video of your trip are included too. So, okay, do you mm -hmm. have to be in, is there any like requirements? Do you have to be in great shape to get on this balloon? Fortunately not, okay. not like you're oh. an astronaut. Okay. okay. So the company yeah. says if you're healthy enough to just step onto an airplane, mm -hmm. to board an airplane, you can do this. It's not like you're, you got, you know, a rocket booster stuck to your rear end. Okay. So the bone <laughs> um, rattling, shaking of a rocket booster, no, we don't have that. So the balloon, it goes up about 12 miles per hour. And like I said, if you board a plane, you're healthy enough to do this because no G-forces. You'll hover around 100,000 feet above the Earth for two hours before the gentle descent down. All right. What kind of down payment? Is what this you, like college education right. tuition to be able to afford this or what? Maybe. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> you know, it's like Virgin Galactic, SpaceX, Blue Origin. Those seats are 250,000 into the millions. Mm -hmm. This seat is... 125,000 per seat. You want to oh. put your deposit down, uh -huh. pay up a thousand bucks right now, get on the list. Okay. Ooh. And so far they've got 1,800 people who have signed up. Whoa. Departing in 2026, they're still doing test flights. Okay, uh, uh, hydrogen balloons. Uh, yeah. Give me, make me a little scared just because from the history books, does this balloon pop? Well, the company says no. Okay. No, and they've tested it, it won't yeah. pop, but if it does, uh -huh. they've got an emergency parachute system, and it's just going to glide right back down. You land in the ocean. That's why it's cheap. Just kidding. But you do <laughs> land in the ocean. That's not why it's cheap. But, but it's all taken care of and safe uh -huh. and everything. But you got a bar on board. Uh -huh. Snacks, treats, gourmet food. Is, yeah, I mean, what could go wrong, yeah, right? <laughs> the, the Titanic had a bar on board, right? 100,000 feet. I mean, all these different things. Splash down anywhere in the ocean. Right. But at least there's a bar and video. There you go.